What keeps you up at night? What is the biggest issue that you find in your state that is the most pressing? You know, I um, I, I think about I think about this journey that we're uh, you know that we're collectively on, and 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 I think about where there is a uh, you know that we have a an opportunity as a state to really get this right and when i say get this right i mean to really focus on creating measurements of, of economic growth that everyone in the state can benefit from and not just some that we have a chance to make our communities safe uh, and people have a right to feel safe in their own communities in their own skin uh, that we have a chance to address the the ravages of, of, of climate change and particularly when you look at the geography and the topography of maryland uh, you know, this is not just a, a future issue. This is a very clear now issue for the people in the state of Maryland. Uh, you know, we have got a collection of challenges uh, that we've got to be able to do that we can have a 21st century education system for all of our kids. Um, and I also think about this moment of, of urgency. And so when you ask what keeps me up at night, it's um, it's the fact that I know, and, and it's because I actually have a clock that sits on that sits on my desk, that I've got 1,418 days left in my first term. That, that there's a level of impermanence that all of us move in. That, uh, that this is not my seat, that this is the seat of the governor that I just happen to occupy in this moment. And we're gonna make 1,418 days count. And we are gonna make every single moment count. And I think that's why we, our administration is moving so fast and moving with a sense of intentionality in everything that we do, uh, because I know that if we can do all these things, create a 21st century education system, really focus on keeping people safe in our communities, making sure that we can be economically competitive and also economically equitable, and that's not a choice, we can do both. If we do all those things, this is going to be Maryland's decade, and we're gonna make sure that it's just that. Yes, and looking towards the future, are you planning on running for another term or seeking higher office, such as the Senate? <laughs> no, I, I, I plan on running for another term. I'm excited about leading the state of Maryland. I love my job. I love the people of this state. And, uh, and this is going to be Maryland's decade. And I'm excited to help us to get there. So if President Biden doesn't decide to run in 2024, you would not run? I am not going to run. <laughs> I am excited about supporting President Biden, who has been wonderful. Uh, to us here in the state of Maryland. Uh, he is, you know, in the, just in the past four weeks, I think he's been in Maryland three times. Uh, and uh, I'm excited about the fact that, you know, the first time that he was here, we announced a joint partnership that's gonna bring 30,000 jobs to the state of Maryland. Uh, I'm excited about the fact that, uh, that we're already talking about and making investments that's gonna increase broadband expansion, where by the end of my first term, I want the entire state to be covered. Uh, when it comes to equitable and accessible uh, and affordable broadband. This is gonna be Maryland's time. I'm excited to have the Biden administration as a partner in that. And, uh, and I look forward to supporting the Biden administration in their, in their reelection.